I am delighted to be here as your patron on this great occasion to join in celebrating the tercentenary of the Royal Society of London for Improving Natural Knowledge. The main importance of this occasion is that we are celebrating the tercentenary of the oldest scientific society in the world. The society has had an unbroken record of activity through three centuries and the contribution of the fellows to natural knowledge is as great today as ever. Though the society runs in much the same way as it did 300 years ago, the world outside has certainly seen many dramatic changes. But even so, it can still be said that science knows no frontiers. But as the frontier of knowledge advances, scientists discover, in the words of one of your founders, Robert Boyle, the variety and contrivances of nature and the majesty and wisdom of her creator. I know that everyone here today would like to join with me in wishing the Royal Society all good fortune and success in the years ahead. To mark this occasion and to enable you to ring in the fourth century of your history, I give you this silver bell as a token of my continuing interest in your work. represented by these addresses will be valued as a permanent record of our worldwide good relations. Your Majesty honored the Royal Society by accepting election to the fellowship, both by your personal distinction as a savant and by your help and encouragement to men of science, you have greatly furthered the causes for which this society was founded and it is with the greatest pleasure that I now invite you to sign the charter book and be formally admitted. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highness, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, my deep felt gratitude I wish to extend to the illustrious Royal Society for the singular honor they have shown me in making me their honorary fellow. I believe it is uh, universally recognized that the Royal Society holds a most distinguished, in fact, a unique position amongst the learned societies of the world. I should like to offer my fervent good wishes for the happy, nay, for the glorious future of the Royal Society. Vivet, Crescat, Laureate. 